thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, to all of our witnesses, uh, particularly to you, Ms. Tursine. Uh, your courage uh, is not just an inspiration to those of us in the United States Congress, Democrats and Republicans, uh, but all Americans uh, and all of humanity. Uh, and we wish to thank you. Uh, I'd like to discuss uh, and uh, learn more about the surveillance uh, that has been detailed uh, to some degree, uh, but if perhaps you could describe what you were subjected to, uh, both uh, when you were in detention uh, and also when you were not. Uh, we would like to hear more. Thank you. Torsunai Hanung Vasual Lager Nung Ichida Va Lager Nung Sirtida Uzungas, a Messalan conduct, Kutush, a control, Kulinish, Achval Lurga, Yodokdongas, Boniber, Chandrup, Bergambosongas. Oh, Behle control Lotta, on which that had Berber music crap gap, Polish no Uzmo, Beck Ear, Derjida, Umachi, Genia, Isap, Gap Comisla, which are Jazal, Shunjulik, there is the Pashplan, Isap Omranda, or Pakat Ubernik, the Trush, Yiddish, Uflash, at the Kayak Krap, Flash, Bizan, Kolum, Bisham, Maya Krap, Flats, Mayaka, Ural Mames, Mother May of Lices, Wachtur the Yamach to the Truples, Tamahia the Yamach is. Control camera bolo, but we know the Ishkushkia. A lager no tisha candidim, mo, Oxasla, Chuchkankun, the Bashla, a man lager, the Chkankun lash, Shukun Likil, Shkadam Konish or Master to do, her of my young, which are the old Shim of Yang to Ambosam, in the Men control of Tratin as a very bearish chumo Kilip Asakhtan, Guangi, Zaman Maso Sakti, Atashuchi, Ushi and Tamovastro Karazil, Masakalite Bombs Pakatu, Atashuchino, Tishachka Maitin, Herkune Bibasha, Konachana, Sulu Nashti and Dek Ashna Karket Level, Ashlan means the control of the Bulato, Maslamen, Chip. Yetanjay, Oram is come on top of Yetanjay Mazoda, Visa Strush, Rumchik Barrow, Ashta, a Paratapas, Sundamshan Dahmin, Ashta, Shpat Karaz Badi, Ashu, Tamovas and Ashnam Lambad, Bara Yirim, the Yana, Manabia Kaldim, the video clip Hemen at Rap of Ashta, Evetme, and Sartra. Ashta controlled Bolden men. Udunke Yenda Yana Sartala mean Ashkutula mean. Kuzem camera and took to the Kuzum than Ashton. She grabbed me to stop Ashta, did that nimble that my hair uncle some or some Nim Ugnish Kirgan and can say her Mandak that we can shampoo them for a curve and a texture quite at the Pacasar Swim Kunjur Harwa such memorable jurati. So in the camps, everything was controlled. Um, it to a degree such that it was difficult for us to even talk to one another. There was the threat of punishment if we did. We had to move certain ways, put our heads this way or that way. Uh, we were not allowed to move when we slept. We had to get up when they said. We had to eat when they said. And they could see everything from cameras. There were two or three of them in each cell. Outside the camps, it was very similar. Uh, for example, the very day I got out, I was assigned a, a man and woman to come sleep at my home at all times with me and be at home with me. So I was always under control. Just to go somewhere, I had to go to three different places, the Public Security Bureau, the Neighborhood Committee, and also to a special police officer assigned just to me in order to get permission to move from one place to another. Um, in addition, every day I had to go out into the square and dance. Um, so they even had control over what sorts of activities we did. Um, and so after I was out in July of 2019, I went to Urmchi to get a visa. Um, and after I was there, I didn't really even go anywhere. 
in the city, but I had these three different documents that I had gotten stamped to allow me to go there. And then once I was actually there, I had to send videos back to my police officer showing where I was. Uh, when I walked out on the streets, um, there were cameras that, you know, would recognize me just by my eyes. And so the cameras would recognize me and then police officers would come out, you know, running up to me and, and saying, oh, you're somebody who's been in a camp before. Um, and, you know, would ask to see my ID card and so forth. Uh, thank you for, for sharing some more detail. Uh, Mr. Turkel, um, you, you mentioned in your testimony that some of the digital surveillance uh, uh, that is happening. Could you, could you elaborate a bit on that practice and, and most importantly, how the U.S. government and the international community uh, should be working to counter it? Um, in a uh, New York Times piece in summer 2019, a reporter uh, mentioned something quite chilling. He was standing uh, in an intersection. He counted 20 surveillance camera over his head. Uh, that is just one street corner. So what the Chinese have done is to uh, test uh, and use these technology uh, and expanding it. So the Chinese surveillance technology is metastasizing. Reportedly, uh, over 80 countries have either adopted or in the process of adopting Chinese surveillance. What does that mean? That is a threat against civil liberty, threat against democracy, threat against international rules-based uh, uh, system. So this is, this is significantly uh, a, a dangerous pro uh, a trend that everyone should be uh, literally screaming from the rooftop. The Chinese uh, use the Uyghur body, soul, their cities, homes, uh, for testing these technology now that it's, it's metastasizing. Thank you, sir. And Dr. Millward, I, I just have about 30 seconds left. Anything that you might want to add relative to the uh, use of surveillance and tactics uh, that we should be employing to counter it? There's more and more evidence that these systems were developed in Xinjiang and aimed at uh, non-Han peoples in Xinjiang. But they're not limited to that, as, as Mr. Trickell was just saying. Um, in many ways, they're expanding to other parts of China as, as well, and, uh, and obviously uh, you know, around, around the world. But um, it's not simply a security measure in Xinjiang. It's much broader than that and therefore much more worrisome. I see my time has expired. Thank you all again to our witnesses. I yield back, Mr. Chair.